Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Kareem. My name is Hena Rai and I would like to share a very personal message with you all. This Ramadan, like the previous Ramadan, has been unlike any other that we've ever experienced. Many of us have spent it away from our loved ones due to this pandemic. I certainly have. I'm in shielding. I should be out of shielding now, but I'm reluctant to come out openly at this moment in time because of the risks it would have for me as a vulnerable person. It is so important in our Islamic duty to ensure that whilst we do start making those preparations for Eid and, and going back to some kind of unlocked situation, we are still mindful of the need to protect ourselves and protect others as well. There are many who, despite the reassurances that we are getting, it's okay to loosen up or remove restrictions and social distancing will still be at great risk. Furthermore from this, the past year has taught me how important it is for us to be aware of our local neighbourhoods and our local communities and their needs. The pandemic has brought disastrous financial difficulties on many, many families who've, through the loss of livelihood and work, have been unable to put a decent meal on the table for their children and themselves. So whilst we are considering giving to charity during these last few days, I would urge everybody to really consider giving to those in need around us in our local communities and neighbourhoods. There is a hadith that says your neighbour has a right over you first and foremost. And by neighbours, the hadith expands into saying that it's not just the houses directly next to you. It's 40 houses on either side, in front and behind you. That shows how important it is for us to look at our local communities and start giving and our charity by beginning at home. Yes, we must continue to support those in need across the world as well in desperate situations, but we also have a desperate situation right on our doorsteps and please let's be aware of this and not neglect this. It could be that homeless person that you see on your way to work or shopping. Buy him a sandwich or a drink. That small gesture will make a huge difference to him and he'd be so grateful. Seriously, the gratitude that you'll receive and the reward that you'll receive from our Creator is going to be second to none because of this act of kindness. God says in the Quran, trade with me so that I may increase it and return it back to you in reward. So let's use these moments and these last few days that we have left of this blessed month by making a trade off with God and giving to those in desperate needs immediately around us before we start branching out. By taking these small steps, you will be part of greater change. And it's so important because this is the legacy we will leave behind for our children. If they see us helping those in need around us, first and foremost, as well as those abroad, imagine the impact it would have on their psyches and their minds. The most beautiful way you will be teaching them how to give and how to be mindful of those around us and be more compassionate and caring. I can't urge this enough and stress this enough because I've seen how desperate families have been in my local community. And I've tried in whatever little way I can to help them. So I would urge you all to really consider helping those in need around you and also being mindful of the risks that this pandemic brings to those who are vulnerable. So be safe, 
spend eat safely and look after yourselves and keep us all in your du'as during these last few nights. Ramadan Kareem. Thank you.